for those that follow and flow in prophetic ministry. No, no, I said God, oh man, that whoa. I said God will always cover those that follow and flow in prophetic ministry. You know, just when you think it's about to fail, or have I said it, shall I not do it? Didn't I speak it, won't I make it good? Jump up in your spirit. Just when you think it can't get no better, or heaven and earth shall pass away before one word of God passes away, pops up. Just when you think it's about to lose its confidence, the Lord sends a word. Can somebody help me preach for just a minute, please? Will you look at somebody and tell them, settle down, it's going to work. Tell them that. No, tell somebody else, settle, chill out, it's going to work. Tell them that. God refuses to let you be a liar. I know I said I got some more help. I said God refuses to let you be a liar. And God refuses to let any of your words fall to the ground. No, it's not by power. Let me go ahead on and preach. No, it's not by might. It's by the Spirit, says the Lord. And your job right now is to be steadfast and unmovable. Always abiding in the word of the Lord so that you know that your labor is not in vain. Look at somebody and tell them, stand up straight, stand up straight. Gird your shoulders. Does hold your head up high. The promises of God are yea and amen. He's going to come through and perform. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that works in To somebody tell them stand up straight now. Tell them, tell them quit belly aching and whining and stand up straight now. It's going to come to pass, and your salvation now is nearer than when you first believed. It's one of those prophetic moments of restoration. Watch the text. Tell somebody it's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. I know the enemy's been talking to your mind, telling you something else, but I came to tell you, I came to grab a devil by the throat and put my foot on his neck and say, it's going to work out the way God said. It's going to work out. It's going to turn out the way God said it's going to turn out. Look at somebody, tell them, I ain't going nowhere until I see the blessing of God show up. I'm not going nowhere until I see the manifestation of the Spirit of God. Tell them I've been through too much hell. I've been through high water. I've endured circumstances and situations. Then I refuse to back down now. Will you shake somebody? Tell them don't back down now. You got your faith on this. Don't back down now. The blessing of God. Watch, here's the meat, that was the gravy. Are y'all ready? Tell the sound man to turn the organ up, put me some in the monitors on the house. I'm ready, I'm ready to rock this place. Mm. I, I'm sure about this one, I'm sure about it. Excuse me, it's not arrogance, that's, that's surety. I'm right tonight and I know, I said I know I'm right. Watch, I ain't going to even do the pretext. In the text that we're dealing with today, we find ourselves confronted with a slight situation. The Bible says, can I preach like I'm from the sanctified church, y'all? I said, woo, the Bible says, says watch this now that Elijah spoke to this woman whose son he had watched restored to life now remember when I say prophet you think of our prophet right 
When I say the woman or the widow, you think of the church. And when I say son, you think of you or y'all. The prophet spoke to the woman about whose son he had restored to life. Wow. So, 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 so watch this now. The, oh, whoo, the focus or the platform of the ministry in this text is not the woman, but it's Elijah's ministry to the son of the woman. The prophet's job is not to come minister to the woman, but the reason why the woman has an audience with the prophet at all is because of what the prophet is doing for the woman's children. Full Harvest International is not getting any ministry at all. You are. No, no, wave at me if you don't get it. You got, do, 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 do you understand? The prophet comes through the woman to minister to her son. So when you see that it show up in the text, it says, Elisha speaks to the woman whose son he had restored to life. So the woman has relevance based on what the prophet is doing for her son. So Full Harvest International has relevance in the city of Los Angeles based on what the prophet is doing for you. And I believe I got some people in here that the prophet has restored to life. That was in a dying situation and had your back against the wall. Didn't know where you were going to. Didn't know how you were. And the prophet spoke a word and life returned to you. Say, the Lord, now watch. This is what, now you got to pay attention, sit down. The Lord, now watch. Please, now hear this. Please, we're going to shout in just a minute. I need you to listen now. He said, the Lord spoke, or the prophet spoke to the woman and said, go live wherever you can. Because the Lord has called the famine in the land. Watch, the Lord had caused the famine in the land. In other words, you about to go through a season where there ain't going to be no growth of your seed. It's going to be lack of sustenance. And things are about to get a little rough for a little while. This is what the prophet tells the woman. He said, the famine is going to come up on the land for seven years. He said, you will be displaced out of where you are for seven years. Everybody say seven years. Seven years. 